Hi, I'm Dave Clo, co-founder of J Love Rack Bicycles, and you're joining me from inside the Provender Store, which is the new home of J Love Rack. We're going to be shooting a big video renovation series of this building and what we need to do to be able to move into it. So if you hit like and subscribe, then you'll keep abreast of all the videos as they're coming up soon. So let's talk about AM64. AM64 is our new cutting edge tech frame design. It pairs 3D printed or additive manufacturing titanium lugs with double butted titanium tubes. There's a number of benefits to using 3D printing for our frame designs. So we can print one frame at a time and customize the design of the lugs to the individual. So that's a really big benefit. But also it allows us to create really seamless, smooth shapes and the joins between the 3D printed parts and the titanium tubes are seamless. So it's a really, really nice, clean aesthetic. In addition to that, it has allowed us to optimize certain areas of the frame design to remove some material where it's not necessarily needed. So the result of that is a frame that weighs between two and 300 grams less than a conventionally manufactured mitered frame design. Our journey with 3D printing titanium started with the Aston Martin Dot 1R bicycle. So that uses 3D printed titanium lugs joined to carbon fiber tubes. Um, this, for example, is the bottom bracket lug. So there's some really nice design flourishes there. We worked with Aston Martin design team to create this bike. So it goes without saying, it's absolutely stunning. As you might expect from us, we've obsessed over the details and it's, uh, it's all about the, the fine details as far as we're concerned. So in my hand here, I've got a, a development prototype plastic part, but it's um, painted silver to make it look titanium just to give us a, the, the feel of how it will really look in real life. Um, but we went through a few iterations of just this bit alone and um, yeah, arrived at something we're really, really happy with. So now looking at this bike in front of us here. So this is a Jack AM64, so it's based on the Jack geometry. The Jack in our range is an all road model. It's perfectly designed for long days in the saddle, uh, touring and, or, you know, a really, really, really nice winter bike, equally a really nice summer bike as well. So this particular bike, NV in route cockpit, so we're able to hide all the cables entirely. Uh, the head tube design also sort of narrows in the middle to remove some of that kind of visual impact of a big oversized head tube, so it's still very elegant at the front. Some of the frame features we've got here. So this particular bike features mudguard mounts, just in case you'd like to fit mudguards to it. It's got clearance for 38 mil tires. Of course, you could have more tire clearance if, if you'd like. We make frames to order, so you could just simply tell us what tires you'd like to run and we can make sure there's ample room. This frame has Parve finish, which is this matte bead blasted design. The graphics are what we refer to as a, the kind of deco style. So they're all slightly reduced in size for an even more understated design look. The wheels on the build are era which are in-house wheel brand and this is actually our new rim design it is the black marble edition and they are laced with sapim cx ray spokes brass nipples and um, ear hubs we've also done a full video of the black marble design so if you want to see more about that feature as well we'll link to that video in the description below all of our bikes feature an era bottom bracket so in this case it's a barada blue bottom bracket uh, that's designed to work perfectly with the bottom bracket shell of our bike. So it's a very kind of seamless junction between those two components. In this case, Dura Ace Di2, 12 speed. So there's a very interesting saddle here. It's a Brooks C13 with an Alcantara top. And that is a saddle that we developed in, in conjunction with Brooks themselves for the Aston Martin project. And we do actually sell these in our web shop if you're interested in that. On the AM64 frame design, the areas that are 3D printed are the head tube, the seat tube junction, and then the bottom bracket junction and the rear dropouts. So focusing in on the seat tube junction, um, really nice, smooth, seamless joins. So they're actually welded and then they're actually taken back and, and dressed. So you can't really see the join. And we've used a kind of um, wedge design here. So it's visually minimal impact. A lot of the comfort of the bike and the ride feel of the bike comes back to how it fits you or how you fit the bike. And of course, we're making these kind of one at a time bespoke to you. So the contact points are moved into the position that suits you as the rider. 
So the optimal way to go about ordering an AM64 with us is to visit our Oakham HQ, have a bike fit with our ID match fitting jig, and then we can take those numbers, use BikeCAD to design a frame that's absolutely perfect for you. If you can't make it to the UK, then there is an option as well to send us your bike fit report and we can use those numbers in BikeCAD to determine the exact frame design for you. So following the BikeCAD stage, we go a little bit deeper in the design process and the lugs, the 3D printed lugs themselves, they're adjusted according to your geometry and then 3D printed specifically for you. This exact bike has been created for Cyclist magazine, so stay tuned because they're going to be doing a full ride review, in-depth review of this bike in the next few months. If you haven't already, hit subscribe because we've got some really nice bespoke AM64 bikes coming through the workshop at the moment and we're going to be doing lots of videos and photo content for those. And also, we're putting together a vlog series for the Provender store. There's a lot of work that needs to be done before we can move in, but it's going to be really interesting and we'd like to take you on the journey with us. Thanks for watching.